Next week is the last full week of the year, the final week of the year. And I have to tell you, I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit anxious about spending a few minutes with Jesus because we're doing something we haven't done the entire year. So each day next week, you'll be introduced to someone who is very near and dear to our hearts here. And you're going to hear their story. But there's part of me that's like, oh, what's going to happen? And at the end, I've just got to cast that to God. I've just got to hand it to him. Just let him handle it. But I'm very thankful for each one of them. I'm very thankful for what they bring. I'm very thankful for their minds and their hearts of giving it over to God. Here's a final thing I want you to take with you. This is from Matthew chapter 6, starting in verse 25 to verse 34. This is what's known as a Sermon on the Mount, and this is what Jesus has to say on the subject. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you? O you of little faith, so do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. Let go and let God.